Teleport is the easiest, most secure way to access all of your infrastructure. In this video, we'll show you how you can unify access for Linux and Windows servers, Kubernetes, databases, and applications across all environments, along with some key features added recently to Teleport. Teleport 10 introduces passwordless access. Passwordless access enables single sign-on to any infrastructure resources without passwords or other credentials like SSH keys at all. Let's log in. We're greeted by a single button. This will start the passwordless and even usernameless authentication method. Passwordless access provides a strong, unfishable authentication method with support for Touch ID, Windows Hello, and YubiKey Bio. Next up in Teleport 10 with resource access requests. Resource-based access requests lets users just-in-time access to infrastructure resources, letting users build a list of resources needed to get their job done. The updated UI provides a streamlined interface for requesting access and lets teams implement principle of least privilege infrastructure access by making access requests easier for applications, Kubernetes clusters, servers, or databases. Teleport 10 adds four new databases to the database access product with the addition of Snowflake, Elasticash for Redis, AWS MemoryDB, and Cassandra. Let's take a look at Snowflake. Snowflake is an advanced data platform provided as a software as a service. Teams use Snowflake for data storage, processing, and analytics. For this reason, Snowflake can contain a lot of sensitive data. By using Teleport database access, it's possible to connect and authenticate with Snowflake databases using short-lived credentials. End users can utilize SnowSQL or graphical tools seamlessly, with Teleport being able to order connections for security and compliance reasons. Let's see it in action. We'll log into Teleport and list our databases. We log into our Snowflake cluster, and now we can use SnowSQL to run a query. Teleport lets us share one Snowflake user for the data science team. With auditing, we know which user is assuming which role, letting you enforce access and auditing best practices. Next up in Teleport 10 are our new additions to Teleport Server Access. Teleport 10 has the option to automatically create non-existing user system accounts. Creating user accounts for new users is much more secure than granting multiple, possibly inexperienced user access to the default privileged user. The account can automatically be added to sudoers and can also be cleaned up after they log out. Next up for Teleport Server Access is the ability to add IP-based validation. IP-based validation provides additional security and validation against leaked credentials. This feature can be enabled on a per role basis. This video scratches the surface of what's possible with Teleport and Teleport 10. Teleport 10 also includes some substantial performance improvements and bug fixes. Download and try it today.